for six years now, Lisa Gormley has played the very, very lovable Bianca Scott on Home and Away, but wow, there has been some drama from disaster of a first wedding. Dad, are you completely insane? What the hell do you think you're doing? Ask him! Oh, that's drama. Uh, to a much more successful second attempt. I don't know why it works, but it does. And I want to be part of your life, Heath Braxton. And I want to be part of your daughters. And now she's dropped a huge, massive bombshell for fans on the Summer Bay spin-off, Home and Away, Revenge. Lisa joins us live. Hey. Hi. Oh, action, drama. We love it. <laughs> Dan didn't duck, though. He, he wasn't gun-shy at the altar, was he? Like, he knew what had happened before. He was... He... Yeah, we'd done, yeah, yeah. we'd done about ten takes. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. He knew how much I was enjoying it, so he let me carry on. Now, before we talk about the new show, your character, uh, Bianca, has had some pretty... Uh, some big news on Home and Away Revenge, right? What, yes. What can you tell us? Oh, I don't know. Can I do that to people who haven't seen it? Um, she's uh, up the duff again. I don't know if yeah. I'm <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty big big news for them. Um, pretty interesting storyline for the two of us. Yeah, right. But yeah, right. It's, it's a lot of fun. We love an interesting storyline. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. And I, and I guess there's interesting storylines too in this new play you're doing, which is David Williamson's play. Yeah, talk which about... Which is... Uh, Odd Man Out is yeah. what it's called. Tell us about it. So the beautiful Ensemble Theatre, yeah. uh, this is my third show with them since since uh, getting out of Home and Away, mm -hmm. um, and it is about a couple who fall in love, you can't help who you love, um, and he is on the autism spectrum. And she doesn't figure this out until they are married and things start going a little bit askew. So it is a comedy, but... We do do a lot of educating and we do show a lot of um, a, a, a neurotypical um, woman with a, an AS partner okay. and how to make that work. And it does work and it can work and it's, it's lovely. Now, the thing with that ensemble theatre, and last time I was there, I think I was in the second row and it is like, it's there, oh, yeah, right? It's a very intimate space. Yeah. So this is a very intense character. Is that difficult to yeah. play when you look, look, we're so, so close to people there. I know, it's lovely though, because my character is, spends yeah. the entire time talking to the audience. So they are right, literally okay. another character. So she right. narrates the, the whole story. Um, oh, wow, I haven't seen any video footage. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. It's, it's a really exciting space to be mm. surrounded. And the ensemble is a phenomenal place to work. Yeah, yeah. And David Williamson, this is his 48th play. Right. Um, and phenomenal. And 17th world premiere for the ensemble theatre. So, wow. Yeah, pretty and, and lucky. Rachel Gordon uh, yeah. is also, is also in. <laughs> This, right? yeah. She's become a soul sister. I love her very, very dearly. We have a lot of fun. Because, but you never actually worked together on home. Even though you were both on home and away, you never actually no, worked we didn't together on home no, and away. No, we didn't get to. But we have a lot of fun in this. She plays my slightly uh, negative friend, uh, <laughs> which causes a little bit of humour going on there. Hey, uh, how was Chrissy for you? Oh, beautiful. I went back to the mountains in Tassie, so I had. Uh, we were rehearsing either side. But we had Christmas and New Year's. Lip sync battle at New Year's. Right. Wonderful. Is that an escape for you? Like, is uh, it a yeah. runaway escape up into the mountains? Whenever I can. I, every time I come back to Sydney, it just gets more and more chaotic and busy yeah, and busy. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. for me, but just for lifestyle in Sydney. Yeah. So it's good to run away. Because are you a, a self-confessed hippie chick? Isn't Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this yes. is not normal. <laughs> <laughs> they made me look like this. How, do we no how would we normally find you? In yoga pants, maybe? Yoga pants. Yes? Literally in yoga mm -hmm. pants. I have... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I have a lot of yoga pants. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty casual, easygoing human. Are you, are you a qualified yoga teacher? I am now, yeah. It has oh. been one of the most beautiful experiences. Teaching. Always are good they, to have a trade to fall back on. Are they called, <laughs> we should called do yogis? Are they called yogis? Or uh, if you live in the mountains in an ashram, but not so much ours, but, yeah, we can call or ourselves. Or if you're a fan of Saturday Disney. <laughs> yogi, yogi. In Yosemite <laughs> Park, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, lovely to see you. Thanks for having me, Best of me, luck guys. with the play. It looks Thank you. awesome. And yeah. I think it's something maybe that a lot of people may be able to relate to. Yeah, so, yeah. I, it's a beautiful Have you found play. that? A lot, yeah, a lot yeah. of great feedback and a lot of life-changing feedback because, I mean, AS people are now able to see themselves yeah. in a story that is fun and educational and, yeah. And I'm entertaining. very lucky. Very yeah. entertaining. All right. And this afternoon, your buddy uh, Rachel Gordon's going to be on the yeah, Daily Edition. So we've got the other side of this story as well. Yeah. Always lovely to see you. Thank you, darling. So thanks for Good coming. Good to see you. And I'm going to tell her that you called her negative. <laughs> Cara, Cara, I know. <laughs> Here's what Lisa Gormley had to say about you earlier. <laughs> now, if you'd like to see Lisa Gormley in The Odd Man Out, just head to the Morning Show website. All the de details are there for you.